are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. See a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. to basics then. Well, that felt unsettling. Like we plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Siel for Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. My shield Suppose I expected to encounter here. Curious. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice.
least you're not going in completely hobbled. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems to be cool. We should have a look around. I truly believe Freya would have aided us in this. Aided us? Talked sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I am avoiding. I value you, Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. Outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. 
He forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. All right, General. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. General, the gate will only accept you if you complete the Ritual of Selection. sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe your effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to I proceed. am ready. Air. Guna, with me. Play Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, Shield Maidens. All right. Let's try this whole thing again. New attempt. New choices to make. A fresh start. between you and Sigrun. Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here.
So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. <laughs> Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. Why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title. Sorry, oh. brother, but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. Agreed. <laughs> I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's council. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment. Quiet. And credit they are upon us. <laughs> <laughs> be how you remember Sparklefine. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in words, oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself, that you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man. But you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore.
Seek a way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well being. Combat can be. What is this? You recognize your old seat, don't you? <laughs> I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. Do you really think you understand this? This still feels reckless. Here they are now. That's odd. They're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. In the face of change, those who adapt triumph, while the rigid falter.
Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. We'll have to finish that later. <laughs> 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 Ah, Midgard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not want him to terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Oh! 
Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure From is here, to let us talk later. I need to focus. Oh, please! <laughs> One <laughs> thing! Two fights in a row now. Valhalla's demands are escalated. <laughs> <laughs> like it to find. That is how we earn our way forward. I should be unlocked now, shall we? Oh, my God. 
Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where is Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to see you soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp, just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. Hmm. What, what are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly! going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here! Brother! What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh, I think this is it, brother. Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Seekin, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. 
One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed it to Helios, and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we've gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. Memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, <laughs> I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye. Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamy, to be honest. Hmm. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. Guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. the price it exacts, brother.
We talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing. If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? Now hear me out, and it's not as though I'm the smartest man alive or anything, but don't you think joining Freya's council could put you in a position to walk that path? To earn that path? Well, it would be a poor reason to accept. Ambition is poison. Yeah! <laughs> 